everybody, this is Energy Yoshi here, also known as Yashosh, and today I'm going to be going over a very important lesson about warding. I'm going to start this video off by going over the basics of warding, I'm going to talk about the sight ward and the vision ward, and yeah, let's just get right into it. A ward is a purchasable item that allows you to leave a totem behind that grants you vision of the area around it. So a green ward, it's only 75 gold, and you can have up to three in your inventory, but you can also only have three on the map, so you really have to be careful where you place these wards. A green ward, it's invisible, and its health bars three auto attacks. So if you're trying to ward deep in the enemy jungle, oh, this is the ward you want to buy because they won't be able to see if they walk over it, by it, or anywhere near it. Alright guys, so the pink ward is 100 gold, but you can only have two in your inventory at once, and you're only allowed to place one on the map at once. Why does it sound so boring and bad? It's because it allows you to see invisible people around the ward with the true sight aura. The ward is visible, but it has five health, so if someone stays too long to try to clear it, you can easily jump on them and get a kill. Alright guys, now that you know all the basics about a ward and what a ward is, there's one major question you should always ask yourself. When do I buy wards? And the answer is actually very simple. After recall, buy your core items and use about 250 excess gold on wards. This will allow you to always have vision around your lane so you don't get ganked and cry. Honestly, the only reason why I play League is to see people cry over reactions because their teammate did something stupid. It's pretty hilarious. But wards, they actually help a lot, so the more wards you buy, the less deaths you're going to have per game. So if you ever wonder when you should be buying wards, think about this one statement and you're going to always know the answer. Alright guys, now that you know what a ward is and when you should buy a ward, the only logical question you should ask yourself is, where do I place my ward? So let's talk about it real fast. Let's first go into overview of Summoner's Rift. Um, Summoner's Rift? Uh, Summoner's Rift? Okay, there we go. Alright, so now that we're on the proper map, let's talk about the most important places to place your wards as a mid laner. For starters, the safest and most common wards that everyone places are in the two side river bushes, both above mid lane and below mid lane. Alright, let's take a look at top side of mid first and see which other places are great for wards. Alright, some of the other most common warding spots are the entrance bush, the isolated bush, the red bush, the crossroads and raptor bush all right bottom side of mid is going to look very similar except flipped but let's take a look anyways all right the most common places to ward on the bot side of the map are basically the same thing it's raptor bush crossroads red bush isolated bush and entrance bush now you know many great places to ward but you're probably still wondering how do I apply these warning spots to different situations throughout the game? Let's go over it real fast. To make it easier for you guys to understand if I'm talking about blue side or red side, the blue warning spots will be in a blue X and the red warning spots will be in a red X. And then I'm going to have a black X showing you where the minion wave is. So if you're constantly being pressured and constantly close to your turret, you want to ward here and here, or you can ward here and here. Now if we keep the creep waves in the same spot, but except reversed, you're the one being aggressive and you're the one pushing close to their turret, you want to ward in these spots. You want to ward here and here, or here and here. Now if the lane's reset and basically in the middle of the lane, the most common spot that I normally ward, I normally ward on both sides of the mid lane bushes, so the top mid bush and the bottom mid bush, or you can also ward here. Now, if you're scared of being towered of, the safest places you can ward are here and here, and this prevents you from being towered of without you knowing. If you ward in those specific spots during those exact situations, it blocks off all the standard jungle gank paths that they could take if that's where you're at on the map. Alright, so now we're going to go in game and just show you the few spots you want to stand when trying to ward some of these spots. When you're warding the two bushes next to mid lane, you want to stand as close to the wall as you can and just pop the ward on over. Alright, so now when you're pushing up and you do go ward the crossroads, you want to stand as close to the wall as you can and place it as far as you can. And the reason you place it here instead of the red bushes, you get to see people coming from the red bush, you get to see people coming from raptor bush, and you get to see people coming from the river into their own jungle. So it applies three different directions of sight. 
Now, when you go to Worth Isolated Bush, most of the time it's better to use a pink ward there because it stays on the map until they kill it. So if they kill it, then when they do kill it, you know exactly where they're at, and most of the time it lasts longer than three minutes when it's in that bush. So yeah, try to use a pink there. One really good ward that I didn't talk about during the overviews, place an award on their side of the lane, that way you can see in any direction that they roam in, because if they're leaving lane a lot, your team wants to know where they're going, so that ward allows you to see which direction they roam to. And another ward that's very common that I didn't talk about, is just standing against the wall and placed it on the other side there. If they have a Jarvan or someone, it prevents them from being able to just EQ over and ult onto you without you seeing them. Now, if you're feeling really pressured and feel like they might gank you behind your turret, you want to stand in between the turret and next to that tree trunk and then ward right below that little gray thing. It allows you to ward that bush very safely without them even being able to have a chance to kill you. Alright, so I just went into the basics of warding and the basic knowledge you should have of where to ward. So, I'm going to go into more details in later videos, but for now, that's going to tie up this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, thank you everyone for watching, thank you for watching the entire video, it means a lot to me. I know I haven't gone over trinkets yet, but I'm going to go over trinkets when I go over vision denial and getting deep wards in on the enemy team. So, please like, subscribe to the video, comment below, give me feedback, give me feedback on how I can improve as a video maker. So, thank you, and until next time, you guys have fun.